Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to create a logo without Photoshop using a free online photo editor. And I actually did the exact same logo using Photoshop. So if you're interested in looking at that video, I'm going to link that below. But what we're going to do is try and recreate that exact same logo that we did in Photoshop using a free editor. And the one that I choose, which I've recommended often, is Pixlr. Now, because I have access to Photoshop, I never use Pixlr, but having tried it, you know, just to mess around with it one or two days, it is extremely similar to Photoshop. It's not as powerful, obviously, but it does the job if you need to do simple tasks. So I recommend Pixlr to a lot of people that need to do photo editing, but don't want to, you know, put out the expense to buy Photoshop or subscribe to their services. Now, one thing to note is that Pixlr has two different web apps. One is more like a simple Instagram-like photo editor, and the other one is the full-blown editor, which is what we're using, and that looks more like Photoshop. So the URL for this is pixlr.com slash editor. And I have a JPEG of the image that we're going to use. It was that uh, house image that, we j that I just showed you a second ago. So, I think I clicked the wrong button there. I don't want to create a new image. I want to open image from a computer. Let me upload that. And it looks like we have a pretty big file here. Let me, let me reduce the size here. Now, so I haven't used this very much, so I may be a little slow at some of these things. Now, it looks like we could change the size of this from here. So, we're going to drag this down. I'm going to make this 50% because I find that uh, a lot of times if you do an even percentage, like uh, 25, 50, 75, you're not going to get the pixelation as badly. And I, for some reason, it's not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I, I didn't notice that it was even selected there. So, yeah, right at 50%, you can see the edges are not as pixelated. It's a little bit cleaner. Let me change this size here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is erase this text. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the brush tool, their version of the brush tool. There we go. And that's similar to Photoshop. You can press B as a shortcut. And right here, I can increase the size of it. I want to choose this hardened circle versus the blurry circle. And I'll do 200. That seems like it's a good size. And for the color, let's see if I could set the color. I'm assuming I do that right here. I want this to be white. So let's give this a try and see how it works. And yeah, this is working well. Just this is very similar to Photoshop. So now that we have this done, we're going to use a different font. Now I don't know if Pixel lets you import fonts, so let me check out their text tool or their type tool. And the logo name that I want to use is Smith and Son or Smith & Sons construction and I'm going to do two lines so let me adjust this color to black let me change the size of it I'm going to increase the size and I do want to change the font too so let me pick a font here I don't know which ones they have available and in fact it, it looks like they give you the fonts that are installed on your system so this is also like Photoshop so if that's the case, I should have a Google font installed. Let me go over to this other tab here where I have Google fonts open. And the Google font that I want to use, which I used in the previous Photoshop video, is Monte Serrat. So let me show you that text down here. It's this one right here. So I already have this downloaded. If you want to do it, you just add it to the collection and you click the Use button and you can select the fonts that you want over here click this arrow to download it you want to download a zip file so you click here and once you do that you can open the folder and double click the font file to install it on your system so let me go back to Pixlr and see if these two fonts which I already have installed are available and it looks as though I don't see it available here so I'm not sure if maybe I installed it and I need to refresh this page for it to become available. Let me try that. I want to see if I could save here. So this, I'm kind of experimenting a little bit on Pixlr since I'm not very familiar with it. 
Let me see if I could save this. Um, and this is going to export to a JPEG. I don't really want to do that, per se. You know what? I may actually just end up starting over if I need to do this. I'm going to refresh this page because I want to see if that font's available. I think I may have installed the font and it's not available because I installed it after this page was loaded. So let me reload this page and I'm going to start from square one but it shouldn't take very long to do this now that we did it before. So we'll change this to 50 and there we go. We'll quickly use the brush tool and paint the text white make sure that we have the right brush and there we go now we're gonna try the text tool again so let's do this one more time Smith and Sons gonna make it large change it to black and we can check out the font let's see now if that Montserrat font is installed And I don't see it there again. Let me see if it's maybe at the bottom somewhere. I don't see this installed. So maybe this isn't pulling. Or maybe. I don't know if this is pulling from the fonts that are on my computer or how this is working. But I don't see that Monte Serrat font available. So I'm just going to go through and pick another one that I like. Let's just scroll through here. And this is actually one that I subscribe to, Futura Heavy. This is an Adobe Premium font that I subscribe to, so you wouldn't have this available for free. So let me choose another one here. Now this Lato, this is available on Google Fonts. If we go over here, you could see that it's w this one right here. So I'm not exactly sure why the Google Font that I just installed is not available, but this one is. Something's going on there. And to keep this really simple, I'm just going to use a really common font like Arial Black. So this isn't ideal. I would generally like to use a custom font from Google Fonts. But for the purposes of this, I think that it's just not working as well as I would like. And I'm not sure if that's just you know a, a bug right now or if it doesn't work with Pixlr. So let me finish this off. We have Smith and Sons. I'm going to drag this over here. Let me go back to the text tool and see if I can make this a little bit bigger. And that looks good. I'll move it and center it. And what I want to do is create a rectangle. It looks like this is the shape tool. Or no, this is a drawing tool. Let me see if they have a rectangle tool. Or we could probably use the marquee tool. Let's do that instead. Let's use the marquee tool because this is a Photoshop tool that I'm aware of. And we can create a rectangle here and just draw within this box. So let me create the brush or select the brush tool again. I want this box to be black. And I'm not exactly sure why this isn't working. Maybe we need to do a new layer here. So let's create a new layer. And yeah, there we go. So this is very similar to Photoshop. You have layers. You have the marquee tool, move tool, brush tool, eraser tool. A lot of similarities. So with this completed now, let me select the type tool and put some text within here. And it's going to be remodeling. And it looks like right now this is black. I'm going to change it to white. And I will adjust the font. This font needs to be a little bit smaller. Let me see if I can move that text. And I'm just going to eyeball it, center it. And I'm not exactly sure how to deselect this marquee tool. Let me see if I can do it over here. Yeah, there we go. I have to go back to the tool and just click anywhere and it deselects. So this is it. I mean, this is the logo that we end up with, with a really simple font and using a free 
uh, vector file for this roof. And if you compare to what we have in Photoshop, let me open up the Photoshop logo that I did. So you can see if I make it approximately the same size, it's very similar. I have a different font that I use, but we got very similar using Photoshop versus the free Pixlr photo editor. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm not a designer. Uh, as you may have noticed, but I do work with the web. I build a lot of websites for myself, for clients, and I've become extremely familiar with doing a lot of photo editing and graphic editing using Photoshop or finding tools online that mimic some of the paid tools. So uh, I have a bunch of tools listed for building websites at my website, which is websiteprofitcourse.com. The heart of my business is WordPress and website management, but as you can imagine, that does tend to involve a variety of skills such as design, copywriting, etc. So I like to discuss those types of things on my website and YouTube videos. Be sure to check out my website, and I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Thanks again, guys. Have a great one.